I'm my liability, literally. In this series, I've set out to accomplish the strongest low-level pure Gilinor has ever seen. A 10 HP Iron Man account with 60 attack, 99 strength, and just 31 prayer. No overheads. My end goal is to get my hands on the coveted Dragon Claws and rush people to Narnia. But there's a twist. If I get 11 HP, I'm restarting. And that's a fact. This ended up being a pretty good spot, looking at probably 10 intelligence for the whole load, which is pretty good. Should get me a level, at least, maybe two levels. Alright, this should be 47, maybe 48. There's 48. So we're finally back to doing organized crime. I am running low on charges, but I do have the Crest Memoirs, so we're okay there. So really, the only place where I'm using the charges on is the Hasidious house. But anyways, this should get me to 49 attack? Yeah. Right? Yep. So 49 attack coming in. So I've ran into an interesting predicament. My Crest Memoirs has completely ran out of charges. And how you recharge it is you use Law Runes, Body Runes, Mind Runes, and Soul Runes. But the thing with Soul Runes is on this account is there's only two ways for me to get them. The first way would be the Wizard's Guild, which requires 66 magic. Certainly not a bad thing to get because I need to get 82 or 94 eventually for rushing. But the second way would be through the Arceus Favor. If I would get 100%, I could buy them right from this magic shop right here. I think that's the way I want to do it because I do want to eventually get all these to 100%. Well, wait a second. Does this mean the book's there? It's literally marked. Wait, what the heck? How do they know that? That's so cheating. I didn't realize that it was like that. <laughs> I thought you still had to kind of look for them. Wow, this is going to take like 10 minutes. Dude, that's, that's crazy. Dude, this is honestly so broken. I don't even have to talk to the lady that tells me where the book is. I can just kind of look around and grab random books. I wonder if I just grabbed every book real quick. That's probably the easiest, no? Instead of just keep going back and forth. You used to sit here for hours, like two, three hours doing this. This makes it probably less than 20 minutes. So for this part, I think the quickest way is to still talk to Biblia. And she's going to tell you where Dark Manuscript is, and then you're just going to chase it. And since they're already all labeled, it's fairly simple. So like this one, it said middle floor, central area. So yeah, like there it is. So from 20% to 100%, you need 16 of these. I'm guessing you can probably get one of them a minute or so. So you're probably not looking at much more than 15 minutes, which is tremendous savings versus the old method. I think the old method, I literally took like two to three hours in here to get 100% uh, favor. So this is like totally OP. All right, last one. Top floor, Northeastern Bay. Well, how easy is that? We are right there already. There we go. Set should complete them all. Let's go down, trade these in. That'll get me 100% favor. We'll go lock it in. So talk to Horfus. Look at that. And 100% favor as well. Okay, so now we can just go over here. We should be able to buy these soul runes now. Where are the soul runes? The wiki literally told me that these had soul runes. Come on, wiki. Regess wares in the general store located in the Archaeus house. Located in the general store. Oh, okay. Wait a second. If it's the general store, I didn't even have to do the favor? Are you kidding me? And maybe you did, I don't know. There's the soul runes I need. Okay, this is what I've been waiting for. Inspect this, recharge Crest Memoirs, add 16 charges. Oh, and I got Mage XP for that. So we're gonna continue to put the Mithril Gloves on the back burner for now. The reason being is I ran out of super energy potions, which are a 
big requirement to do organized crime. You're just you're running all over the place. Although I have some teleports, I still need these super energies. So what I've found out is I actually have 42 Avanto seeds. Now I can currently use four farming patches or four herb patches, I should say. The Catherby one, the Ardoin one, the Draenor one, and then also the one here in Zaya, the Hesidious house. What I've realized is I can potentially use a fifth one if I were to complete Ghost to Hoy. Ghost to Hoy gives 2400 prayer experience. It's going to be a useful quest for me on my journey to 31. So what I think I really need to do now is complete Ghost to Hoy. I'll unlock the Ectolfio, and then I'll also be able to use that patch over there. Okay, so I'm about to get some prayer levels. Um, I've used baby dragon bones with this stuff. So I should get about 1200 prayer experience. I think I need to go through all these options. Thanks for your time. Let's see. Should be 1200 XP, yeah. 16, 17, 18. Well, so now we get to the hard part of the quest. So this part, I have to come down here and I have to steal from this chest. A lobster is going to spawn and I have to recoil the lobster 100%. I don't have to do any damage on him. But the thing is, is the lobster will disappear and I don't have enough room to set my cannon up down here. So I have to get really lucky and hope I kill it before it disappears. Let's see if that completes it. No kidding, there we go. 2400 prayer XP, Ectophiel, which we really wanted, and 22 prayer coming in. Oh, this is so great. Endless teleports, beautiful. So now we have five patches we can do and we can officially start more farm runs than usual. So this should be my first ultra compost on the account, which it is. There we go, 60 fishing. I don't know what that type of fish is, but it looks pretty clean. So now I think I have enough fish in the bank to get 65 cooking. So we have 1,700 trout, 1,400 salmon, 338 tuna, and then we have some lobster, swordfish, and some shark. All right, here we go. There we go, 65. Members can now cook pineapple pizza, which is done in the mess hall. Well, that's the best method of doing it. So let's go ahead and start doing that. Okay, so I'm about to get 70 cooking, and this is going to be the last level that I get for now. I'll explain why in a second. Anyways, there it is, 70 cooking. You can now cook Admiral Pies, which is interesting. Okay, so I think I'm going to put a pause on what I'm doing. What I was doing is I was trying to get 99 cooking or high cooking via the mess hall, and the reason why I was doing that was to avoid burning a chompy during the RFD part. The reason why I've came to that decision is because of this. Eventually I'm gonna get 99 strength, obviously, uh, or that's my intention. So if we go down and we calculate this, we're calculating it at 28, or when we use the DDS spec puncture, we can hit 32 by two. Okay, so two, two hits of 32. Now, if we update this to black, okay, it stays the same. If we update this to myth, it stays the same. So my question to myself is, why would I waste 50 hit points experience to not get any max hit? Now with 94 magic and 31 prayer, the highest strength level I can get before gaining an additional combat level would be 83. If I were to get 84 strength, I would go from 52 to 53 combat. Okay, so assuming 83 strength and obviously 60 attack, if I come back over here to this calculator, I can just input in 83 strength over here. 
Okay, so now let's see what happens in terms of the gloves. So my maximum hit is 24, with the puncture being 27 by 2. If I switch to black gloves, I'm still at 24 with 27 by 2. Now what if I go to the mithril gloves, the coveted gloves that I really want? What's the difference? See, there is none. It's still 24 max hit and then 27 by 2 with the puncture. There's absolutely no reason for me to get mithril gloves right this second. I can't find any. The only way it's even necessary to get mithril gloves is I were to unlock the dragon claws. Now let's go back here. We'll put this back at 99 with the dragon claws. And my max hit with myth gloves becomes 32. Now if we go down to steel gloves, it's 31. So definitely mithril gloves shouldn't be in the works right now. Uh, and we can kind of postpone those to later. When I get the dragon claws, basically it's going to tell me, hey, now it's time to get the mithril gloves. Um, but right now there's just no point, And that's why we're going to stop right now. Okay, so now I want to finish the other prayer quests that I can do and then finally get 31 prayer. So there's two prayer quests that I haven't done that it looks like I can do. The first one is Making History and the second one is Mountain Daughter. So combine these will give me 3,000 prayer experience and then from there I'll finish using the Baby Dragon Bones and get 31 prayer. There we go, 3 quest points, 1,000 prayer experience, 1,000 crafting, 750 GP. That gets me from 22 to 24 prayer. Thank you so much, man. Yes, sir. Hopefully it's something good. Any day now. There we go. Good luck, good luck. Badoodle. 30 dragonstone bolt tips. Interesting. Not sure if these will be useful at all. Pretty good, I don't know, not sure. Could be. All right, Mountain Daughter, here we go. Hamel the Chieftain should tell me that his daughter is missing. I will search for her. All right, there we go. We got the bear head. There we go. Quest complete. Two quest points. 1k attack, 2k prayer. And now we're at 26 prey. Okay, so according to my calculations, all of the prayer quests are officially complete. So now what we can do is we can buy some buckets of slime and we can make some bone meal and then we can finish off 31 prayer. Okay, so we have to make 48 of these baby dragon bones into bone meal. Now I want to show you guys something. So if you have rune light, what you can do is you can go to configuration, type in menu entry swapper. And basically what that will do is it will switch the use and the berry uh, placements. So look, so the use is first so I can kind of click these and never bury them. Now if I uncheck berry, now you see berry first. So that'll be a, a really smart way if you're trying to limit your prayer on your account to do. Uh, and obviously that's what I'm doing because I don't want to get any prayer experience. Okay, and the last load ever for prayer. This should get me to 31. There it is. 31 prayer. You can now use the prayer ultimate strength and you can enter the monastery, which is awesome as well. So now I can do the ghostly robes. But check this out. Ultimate strength officially unlocked.
whole ghostly officially unlocked, but there's only one problem. We're still only 58 magic. So next video, we're going to try to get either 70 or 82 or hell, maybe even 94. But if you are new here and you are enjoying this series, feel free to leave a like and maybe even consider subscribing. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye.